Okay, guys, an extra video for Saturday night. I'm going to post it right after this. And this is uh, pretty much our little new camera setup. So it's not perfect. It's not great. I'm still working on it. I don't know if this is going to work or not. i got to use this microphone for now because I don't have a microphone for it. So, But the room is pretty much set up. You guys can see. But today we're just going to do a quick opening. I normally do these on Fridays, but... Do a quick one for you guys today. I've got three of these to do. <coughs> so let's see. Let's see if you guys like them, like the videos like this or not. The camera needs to be replaced. I need no microphones, just a quick setup. So I'll do three of the Walmart three openers. Kind of wish I had a secondary camera to show you guys down below what I'm working on. But let's just open up one at a time. We'll do the Road to Empire number one, which I have not seen this front cover yet. So I have one, two, three, and four, but as usual, we know what the front comic is, we don't know what the other two are. I'll simply hold them up and see what we get. So, condition on these can be all over the place. I did find another, and we'll do this one last, another Venom 25. I know there's a bunch of people bitching, moaning, and freaking complaining. I'd like to use the full F word, but I'm not sure how YouTube would like it. Not like it really matters. I don't make money on these videos anyway. So, save them off. We all know the first book, as you can gladly see. I'll let you guys see it at the same time I do. Comes with a backing board. Let's see how this works. So, Road to Empire number one is the first book. I don't think it's a big deal. It has a big crease and dent in it. So, next book, let's see what we got. Is, oh, I just pulled out the back book. <laughs> Gotta be using this. Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number 12. Let's see what we got. It is first. I didn't even really made the series. It's a uh, first print. I know nothing about it. And the final book. Oh, I just put it down instead of bringing it up. I'm not sure what this is. It is Spider Man Life Story 6 of, ten, six of 10 seconds. Spider Man Life Story 6 the Tens. I have no idea. Second printing has a big old ding down here, if you can see it. Sorry, I'll do my best. I like the cover, but man, I'll keep, I mean, I do. I will keep all these. It doesn't matter. But that is the first one. Let's go with the Iron Man one. This was sitting down at a Walmart about 50 miles south of me. So the ones at my Walmart are all the same right now. They're all the Fantastic Four and um, the uh, what's that one? The Race to the uh, all the Empire ones. They're all doubles. They're one of the big ones I didn't have yet. So this one has in the front covers Tony Stark, Iron Man, the Ultron Agenda, number 16. So this is just Iron Man number 616. If you go by the old list, old way of doing things. I'm going to plot this thing, uh, put this video out on Saturday, what, the 3rd of October? So. Let me get another uh, free-handed mic. I don't like having the headset on, but for now, eh, got to keep. So we take it out. I've been seeing some Thor books. Okay, first book that comes up. We can aim this down a little bit so easier to do this. So I'm going to go for a better camera sooner or later, but we'll see. Okay, take off the back book. Oh, by the way, this one, the Iron Man's a variant, number 16. It's got damage. Oh, well. Next book, Daredevil. The Death of Daredevil 611. Uh, part 3, the de uh, second printing. It's got good old stilt man on the front. Ooh, ooh. That's some old stuff. Okay, last book in this one is Iron Heart number 2. Hmm. That might be a pretty cool book. Uh, second printing, Riri Williams as Iron Heart number 2. So. It's got problems along here. It's a ding right here. You probably can't see it. This camera's barely like 0.8 megapixel. I'm poor at this point, so <laughs> I'm not going out and buying new cameras yet. Um, we do have a <coughs> Radio Shack nearby, and yes, Radio Shack exists here in the southern Utah area. So, last one, the book everybody wants. I have a bunch of extras if anybody needs them for trade. Um, different varying conditions. I sent one off to CGC just for fun, so we will have a CGC opening in the next few weeks. I have some books coming back, 
Uh, I think what? An Amazing Spider-Man and something else. Okay, let's get this open. Ah, so, you, know what? you guys need to let me know. I know there's not many people watching this, but I need you guys to let me know if you like the way the video is like this or not. But at least this time we're opening them, there is no lenticular covers. I got so many lenticular covers the last time, so. Okay, as we can see, Venom 25, I'll look at the condition later. The book's probably about a $5 book. But, okay. Next one, what do we get? Guardians of the Galaxy number four. It is second printing, could use a press. I don't think it's worth anything. Not a big deal. And the final book we're going to find this time, guys. Oh, it looks like Infinity War. Infinity War number two. So, Infi oh, Infinity Countdown number two. So, uh, yeah, variant edition. So it's a nice thick book. I mean, I do keep these. I really don't have a. I haven't really read them all. So, but that was it. This is kind of just a test video. See if you guys think. Let's see the condition on the twenty-five. Get this thing in decent shape is really hard to do. Well, it's a reader copy. There's a big old bend right here. You guys can see when it hits the light. I mean, it's not bad. A press would probably take it out. But other than that, it's a thick book. Upper upper left corner is got a little ding on it. I'll still buy any of these I can get just in case. Because getting one in nine point eight is gonna be extremely hard. I sent in my best copy, we'll see what comes out, but that's really the only problem with it. Press might get that out. So let's see. That's it for today. I'm gonna take you guys on a quick little tour of what I have set up. I'm not sure if it'll work right. As you can see behind me, <laughs> we have my video game center. <laughs> So some uh, artwork gambit over there. Let's see, over there are my so-called action figures. I need more shelf space. We'll go over those another day. Uh, and then back the other direction, there's, there used to be a makeshift holder with, that I used to hold Hot Wheels in. Now I put a few slabs in it. <sighs> Up on top, let me know, can anybody name what that statue's from? Another gambit thing from somebody. But let me know, guys, what you guys 